As you know, we have been doing a lot of analysis and, um, you know, looking at polls and data to see how we can win the 2020 election and in hindsight, uh, look at what went wrong in the 2016 election. And I think that from data from many different polls, um, you know, where you had Bernie Sanders up by double digits against Trump and you have um, now I think it, uh, we had done we had done a bunch of uh, stories on you know now there are uh, I forget what the percentage was but there's a decent chunk of Republicans making under thirty thousand who now think that uh, the government should provide health care for all and uh, I think it was sixty two percent who now want of the country who now want um, the government to ensure that everybody has health insurance so clearly we need to go the bernie sanders route the more populist left the more progressive route um and now we have elizabeth warren coming around to it we've had a few uh democrats start to lean towards things like single payer um i recall also Kira, kirsten gillibrand saying something like that and elizabeth warren coming out of course, it's very disappointing that Elizabeth Warren did not endorse Bernie Sanders during the election, something that I feel was a big sting to everyone that we will not be able to forget, especially because we saw Elizabeth Warren as the second most progressive senator after Bernie Sanders. But Elizabeth Warren is now urging Democrats to reject centrist policies and to move towards the left. So CNN says... In the aftermath of last year's election, the centrist old guard is out and progressives have won the battle for the soul of the Democratic Party, Elizabeth Warren declared Saturday. So that is very strong words there because we know that there's a lot of uh, centrist left people um, in the Twitter sphere and a lot of douchebags like Neera Tandon and all these people. Who are... And we saw a lot of people, you know, saying, oh, Bernie bro should come out and defend and Democratic Socialists were getting injured marching. So obviously that was terrible. Um, but here is a quote from Elizabeth Warren. She said, but boy, we've inherited a hell of a challenge, haven't we? She said at an annual gathering here of thousands of progressive activists uh, in a speech that outlined Warren's visions for the party's future. The Massachusetts senator offered a series of policy prescriptions calling on Democrats to push for Medicare for all debt free college or technical school, universal pre-kindergarten, a fifteen-hour, fifteen dollars an hour minimum wage, and portable benefits. So those are actually the key ideas that we need to stick to because it is what the majority of the country believes in. And if we stick to those rather than have no policy positions and rather have platitudes and say, "Hey, look at the other people," because that clearly doesn't work, as evidenced by the uh, twenty. 16 election so what we need to focus on medicare for all single prayer single payer health care um getting free college for americans and um 15 dollars an hour minimum wage and those three things will be the key to winning elections in the future and this is the right move and i think that it is very good that elizabeth warren is doing this and i think that we will be able to move forward as a result What's up guys, it's Saul Hill here. You guys are watching the Progressive Voice. Make sure you guys click subscribe down below. We're fighting Donald Trump tooth and nail and we need your help.